Structured testing is possibly the most effective way to find bugs and to validate your requirements. I'm talking about ad hoc testing, exploratory testing, alpha testing, and beta testing. But as valuable as they are, we don't spend much time talking about them when we're planning our VNV. And the reason is that these tests can be hard to document and to summarize. But the good news is there's a great app that integrates with Jira and makes it easy to plan, document, and trace your unstructured test activities. That app is the Exploratory Testing app by X-Ray. Let's take a look. The Exploratory Testing app is a standalone app that installs locally on your machine. It supports Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. And once you install it locally, you can use it in standalone mode, or you can integrate it with Jira, or best yet, you can integrate it with Jira and X-Ray for Jira. And that's what I'll demo today. But to install it, you're just gonna to go to the Exploratory Testing app website. I'll link that in the video description and go to the download button and download onto your information and download the installer. This is a free app. Once you've installed the app locally on your machine, if you're using it with Jira as I am, you're gonna to want to follow the instructions in their documentation to connect this app to your Jira instance. And very briefly, what that looks like is you're going to go to your site settings, products, and application links. All of this is documented in the instructions that I just shared on the screen, and they will walk you through the steps to create a new application link, a direct application link, that allows the exploratory testing app to connect inbound into your JIRA instance so that it can upload test evidence and create new test runs, etc. You can see I already have this configured in my environment and this is a little bit what it looks like here. See, there's no outgoing authentication, but there is incoming authentication. And all of this is documented in those instructions. Okay, once you have installed this app and followed all the setup instructions and configured your Jira site to allow the app to connect with it, you will be able to launch this app just as you would any other local app. Once the app launches, you'll see two options for starting new sessions or an option for continuing a save session. And the option I recommend for the validation testing that I'm demoing in this video is to start a new session for an existing test. But before we can start a new session for an existing test, we must first go over to Jira and create that test case. So let's select to create a new test case and let's create a validation test for downloading and restoring calibration data. This is a user validation test of a new feature that was just implemented in our fictitious test. So now we have a new X-Ray test case and in X-Ray new test cases default to being manual tests. And for this example, we're gonna change this to a generic test. Confirm. And for a generic test, X-Ray, instead of giving us the ability to configure test steps, X-Ray is instead going to ask us to provide a test definition. And I just pasted a test definition into my window here. And so what we're doing is creating a basically a test charter for this user validation test. So we have a goal, we have the criteria. Okay? Now we have our test charter and just like any other test, this test can be assigned approvers and routed for approval. Okay, so fast forward and we can see that our test case is now approved and ready for execution. And for this generic test, what the reviewers and approvers were looking at were the, was the charter, making sure that the charter is acceptable. So back on the launch screen of the exploratory testing app, we can now create a new session for an existing test. 
And if we followed all of the in setup instructions for linking this app to our JIRA site, we will be able to select the project and find the test case that we've created and load it into the exploratory app. Right, so we can see that the charter is that we provided and pre-approved is listed right here for the testers to follow. And you can start your session. X-Ray will ask if you want to create a new execution and test run on the JIRA side. You can defer that or create it right away. I usually create it right away. If you are testing an app that exists on your screen versus testing, you know, an app or a device that is not on your local machine, you'll be able to select what you want to share on the screen. I'll share my, my entire screen with the app. And now we have a session in progress. And this is an unstructured test where the only guidance I have is inside this charter. And in this charter, we can see that we are validating whether or not a trained user can achieve the objectives of this new feature that we've just implemented, in this case, downloading and later restoring calibration data to a device. And so where this sort of testing differs from a traditional manual test is that you can simply just begin recording notes as the user is progressing, or if you want, you can have the user take their own notes. And when you're recording your note, you can categorize the note as a comment, problem, suggestion, idea, question, concern, or something positive, i.e. a passing result, and just take notes about what the user is observing, any ideas or suggestions they have, any problems they encounter. So we can say user was able to launch the app and find the calibration download option from the main action menu. And we will categorize this as a positive result. And just we'll just run through this test and continuing to take notes, uh, perhaps capturing screenshots or recording video or audio, lots of options here. And you just create a journal of everything that the that the user encounters, everything that the user does, and you can continuously monitor the the charter for guidance about what they might need to look at next or explore next. Go back to timeline view here. And now let's say that we encounter a problem. So say user encountered a confusing warning message that caused them to abort the download operation. And this is a problem, right? So not only was this a, a confusing message, but it actually actually caused the user to quit what they were doing, which is not what we wanted. So this is a validation level failure. Uh, the warning message was intentional, but apparently poorly written and caused a problem for the user. So now we can save this and maybe we continue testing. Maybe we don't. You just continue providing as many notes as you need to. And when you are done testing, you select to end the session, give it an overall result. So in this case, I'm going to say that our test failed. And I can submit these results into JIRA. But before I do that, because I have a failed test result, I also want to create a bug in JIRA. So to do that, I can select this problem note and say, let's add a defect to this before we submit it. Let's create a defect. So we're going to have this defect in our backlog and we're going to say validation failure user quit the download operation due to a confusing error message and create our defect. You can see the defect was created in my JIRA environment and I can also submit these test results. Now back in JIRA, now that we've executed that test case in the exploratory app, if we refresh our screen and view the test run section inside the X-Ray app, we'll see that test execution that we just created. We can see that it has a failed result. And if we drill into the details, and inside the execution details, we'll be able to see all of our evidence that we've attached. 
we'll see the linked defects, we'll see a report that X-Ray automatically attached for us, and a full listing of all of our notes that we recorded. And the last feature I want to demonstrate is the traceability feature. Because this test case is a regular X-Ray test case, even though it's a ad hoc test case instead of a traditional manual test case, we're able to add it as test coverage for the user requirements that were validated. Now that we've linked these requirements, if we drill into their coverage, we'll see that now there is a failed test in the coverage. It wasn't one of our verification tests, but our user validation test is what failed. And that's it. We just saw a brief demo of using the X-Ray Exploratory Testing app to create a pre-approved test charter for unstructured testing so that we can validate our user requirements in a way that is pre-planned, documented, and traceable. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more, go to www.agileinnovations.tech. Thanks for watching.